Hey guys, it's the Bat. I'm back with a quick shot of books that I picked up this week at my local comic book shop. I uh, thought I wasn't going to spend too much money and I ended up spending <laughs> quite a bit. Um, starting with, let's go through these. I picked up Aquaman, number 64. Batman, number 101. Catwoman, number 26. Robin King, number one. Harley Quinn from the Black Label, book one. Justice League, Death Metal, number issue number 55. This has an appearance of the Omega Knight. Omega Knight. Um, I will go back and get another copy of this. Nightwing, number 75, he's back in his original costume with his brains back together. Um, hooray. Picked up this one, uh, Phantom Starkiller, issue number one from Black Caravan Comics. Um, looked pretty interesting. This book, Scumbag, I picked this one up, um, and I only picked it up because what people were saying on, on YouTube about it had me interested. Got it home, uh, flipped through it real quick, read it the best, as fast as I could, and I love it. This book is good. Let me get another copy of this, this issue here. Teen Titans number 46. We Live number 1. Now into the variant books. Uh, Black Widow, um, issue number 2, the 1 in 25 variant. Dune, the one per store variant. By uh, cover art by Jay Lee. Cable, the second printing of issue number 4. Uh, apparently there's a, a first appearance of a character in this. Scumbag, I don't know if this is the 1 in 10 or the 1 in 25, I, I don't know, but I, I definitely picked it up, I love the cover, and I actually like this story, like I said before, it really uh, surprised me, um, uh, well I shouldn't have, because it's a Rick uh, Remender book, but um, I was so glad to get this, and I also picked this one up, I don't know if this one is the 1 in 10 or the 1 in 25, I don't, I don't know, I just grabbed it, great looking cover. Something is Killing the Children. Uh, they didn't even have the regular cover. All they had was this um, cover. I think it's a, a Jenny Friesen cover. Thor number seven, the second printing. Pick that up. Venom, the Fortnite um, cover. Variant edition for issue number 29. Venom number 29. Um, Cover, I picked up two copies of that, and I picked up the 1 in 25 variant cover. X-Men 12, um, picked up the second printing of that. Now, these are the books that I got extra copies of for um, one reason or another. Batman 101. He has the appearance of Grifter, who's now going to be a part of the Batman universe. Um, Lucas Fox. There's so much brand new stuff going on in Batman. Him being, uh, not being able to have access to his money like he would. Um, so that limits him to how much uh, high tech that he has. It's like a, a fresh start for Batman. And I definitely had to get another copy of this book here. Issue number 101. Catwoman, I got another copy of that one because it's the first appearance of this new um, uh, character, Father Valley, um, that looks kind of intriguing. Found another uh, Star Wars Darth Vader number six, so I definitely couldn't pass that up. <clears throat> Had to get another copy of Robin King, even though this may be a gimmick, but because of the fact it's Robin King, 
I feel this book, which it may not reach a certain height as far as um, value, but I do think it'll be worth more than its um, actual cover price in the long run. And we live. I couldn't get the uh, variant cover, so I got two copies of the number one issue. And I looked inside of it, I flipped through it, gave it a, a quick read through, and it's very intriguing about um, how these groups of children and this old man who drives a bus somehow got transported to a, another world and they have to survive on this other planet and that's my quickie books for the week even though this is only one comic book shop I have to go to my other shop to get the rest of my books which should be like Spider-Man I always get Spider-Man even if it sucks, it's just the way I am with Spider-Man. I try to keep the line. Because to me, out of all comic books ever published, uh, as far as lines are concerned, um, Amazing Spider-Man to me has the most um, intriguing characters, the most books that are I, I call valuable. Um, uh, in the long run, you will find that uh, every so often... Uh, uh, Amazing Spider-Man book is valuable for cer certain reasons, be it character-driven, story-driven, artist-driven, or whatever. But, like I said, these are the books that I've gotten today. And I hope you all had an eventful day. I'm telling you, this book is something else. Uh, you all had an eventful day and, and got what you were looking for. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.